guys, my name is Em and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, welcome back to Em Collects. I collect a lot of stuff and mainly manga. So today we're going to be talking about all of my manga that I bought during the month of April. And this month I got a lot of good finds, new and used. The used ones I wasn't really something I was searching for, but the deals are too good not to pass them up and series that I was eventually planning on collecting anyways. So finding them used was definitely a great help in my collection. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, we do have a large amount of manga this month, so we're gonna try to get through it pretty quickly. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And so we'll go ahead and start off with my books a million finds. So these were all new copies, pre-orders, stuff that I've just been waiting to come out and get released. So my favorite Shoujo Beat series of the moment is My Love Mix Up. So this is volume seven. I'm so excited to read this. I've probably ranted about My Love Mix Up in every video that I've mentioned it because I just love it that much. It's such a great story. It's so fun, lighthearted, but at the same time, it's a good romance. And I don't know, I can't recommend it enough, so please go and read it. I'm just gonna try and push my agenda right here if you don't mind me. Moving on, we also have another romance. So this is Lovesick Ellie Volume 9. So I actually haven't read any of Lovesick Ellie. I probably mentioned this in a previous video as well. I haven't read it yet. I was gonna try to read it during this month, but I got sidetracked with finals. I still read a lot of manga, surprisingly, even with finals going on, maybe because I didn't study as much as I should have, but that's something we don't have to talk about because I'm graduating. By the time this video is up, I will have graduated. So yeah, I don't have to worry about finals anymore, which is super exciting, which means I can read this um, during the month of May. <laughs> uh, the art is just super cute, I don't know. Even like the back of all of the volumes are have like cute art on them. And I don't I can't get enough of romance. Uh, so definitely gonna keep trying to buy more romance for my collection rather than the enormous amount of shonen that I have, which is like kind of embarrassing, but I digress. And so next up we have Die Dark Volume 5. So this is by Kyuhai Ishida, the same creator of Doro Hidoro. Um, haven't read Doro Hidoro or Die Dark, but I definitely wanted to get some more like darker series and I heard Die Dark was a good one to get because it's written by Kyo Ishida and I don't know, super excited to start reading their works. I think I'm gonna start reading Die Dark now that there's five volumes out. I could have started reading Dorhodoro anytime because I have the full series but I just haven't yet, I haven't gotten around to it. But like I said, I am done with, done with undergrad so I have so much time in the world until I start my new job so we're gonna get a lot of reading in between the that time so all right and my last buy from books a million is volume 10 of the soul eater perfect editions so i this shouldn't come as a surprise i haven't read or watched the soul eater i just like the art because it's by this creator uh which is why i also own fire force back there but let's not talk about that we'll talk about that another time but yeah so it is time for me to do a manga cleanup and find all the manga that I've read and I have like that just hasn't been for me and I want to let go for my collection so I have some more room to buy new manga so if you guys would be interested in seeing a video of that let me know in the comments below because it's definitely time for me to do a manga cleanup so yeah this means I'm gonna stop pre-ordering the volumes for the soldier perfect edition so this will probably be the last time you see this in a monthly haul video for the time being all right and then I only got one other thing of manga that was new the rest of it is used and so this is actually a big purchase for it being new but if you aren't in my discord server the link was posted about the oranor in high school box set being on sale on amazon and of course you know me i had to pick it up because it was on sale it was a really good price i think it was like 90 dollars or something which was this is 18 volumes so it would have been like technically half off if i purchased them all separately uh but getting the box set you know me in box sets i love box sets so i had to pick it up uh, but I'm super excited to have this. So I actually had this a while back and I ended up selling it because I got a flat tire. I had to buy a new tire. So I went through a phase where I had to just start selling a lot of stuff to buy that tire. Because apparently tires are very expensive if you didn't know. So yeah, we got this. Um, I'll post a full video on TikTok with all the covers as well as my monthly like manga recap on TikTok. You'll see all the covers there, but these are some of the ones that I really enjoy. Just moving on, so I found a very good deal on a lot of used manga volumes, and this is this is just like some of them. I got I Am A Hero volumes 
1 through 12. So these are omnibuses, so there's only six volumes in my hand right now. But this is 1 through 12. Uh, got these for half off retail price, and they're literally in like near perfect condition. There's a little bit of yellowing on the top, so the spine, but nothing like really serious. And yeah, I was super stoked because I actually wanted to collect this um, like last year, but all the volumes would be out of stock all the time, so I never got around to collecting it. So finding it used and for $9.95 pop was literally amazing so shocked that i even found these at second and charles um but yeah these are literally in like almost perfect condition the only thing is the yelling on the top of the manga which was surprising for me to see that they were selling it for 9.95 because you know sometimes second and charles they go kind of crazy with their secondhand pricing they'll list like very beat up volumes for like retail price and i'm like I'm confused here because they also sell new manga at Second and Charles, so it confuses me when they do that sometimes because someone could easily just buy the new volume for retail price instead of buying a used copy for retail price. I also got One Punch Man volumes one through three. So these were about four or five dollars. These are five dollars a piece, so also like half off. Um, there were a lot of series this time that I went around to Second and Charles. I wish I filmed, but I didn't even have my phone when I went. Um, I don't know why because I usually always have my phone on me so I can have my spreadsheet in my hand to make sure I'm not buying duplicates of manga But I made sure I bought I didn't buy anything that I already owned Uh, but yeah, I've wanted to collect one punch man because a few of my friends have always recommended it to me So I was surprised to see that they had these these do have the old shonen jump logo So if I do end up buying the new like new volumes of one punch man, they'll have mismatch logos But to me, that's not a deal breaker or anything because for five dollars a piece. I really can't complain and so also from Second and Charles, I picked up volumes one through three of Whisper Me a Love Song. So this is a high school romance GL. Um, I've been wanting to pick up more GL for my collection and this was definitely a good find because I found them also used for basically half off six fifty and the retail price of the Kodansha like large copies are twelve ninety nine. So good find and definitely a good read. I also read all of these already. Um, so I'm hoping that I can find the rest of the volumes that are out in English also used because I'm going to try to stop buying new manga, um, at least stop buying as much new manga because I want to save some money obviously and just because, I don't know, I love going to a bookstore and finding a bunch of good used finds and this second child's haul was definitely a very good find day, but yeah. If you have any suggestions for GLs, let me let me know in the comments because I have my eyes on a few of them, but I haven't seen many reviews, so I don't know if they're worth picking up. And I don't know if I should just jump the gun and start buying a bunch of GL series just to give them all a chance, which is what I want to do, but also not a good idea for my wallet. So just let me know in the comments. And my last thing from this second in Charles Hall was volume three of The King's Beast. So if you didn't know, uh, in my New York vlog, I found volumes one and two used, which I was super stoked about because one of my mutuals had recommended this to me because the story and the art is so cute. Um, I also want to start the other manga from this mangaka. I think it's called Dawn of the Arcana, Dawn of the Arcane. Not entirely sure of the title, but I heard it's set in the same like universe as The King's Beast. And I don't know, this, this universe, everyone in here is pretty. So what's not to like about that? This was also only $4.95, so half off as well. So definitely a very good find at Second and Charles the day I went. I was super glad to find all of these. Also not to mention that they only had volume three used instead of like volumes one, two, and three, which is usually what you would find in a used bookstore. You'll find like all the corresponding volumes in like a set of numbers. But yeah, only volume three being there used made it feel like it was a sign for me to just buy a lot that day, which I obviously did, but all good finds for good prices. So I'm not mad about it or upset. And just moving on, I also have some used copies from the Mages Emporium. So this is my first time purchasing from them. Um, I got a number of volumes, so you might know them on Instagram if you follow up Monogram accounts. They might show up on your Explore page every once in a while, which is how I ended up finding them. So they do sell a bunch of used manga. They also have Japanese manga as well as light novels. But the star of the show is actually, I woke up one day and I was like, is that what I think it is? And it was. It's Switch Volume 11. So I've been on the hunt on the, for this volume for months now. I bought a few volumes at Second and Charles like probably a year ago now. Um, I ended up finding 
new copies from Right Stuff because they still had those volumes in stock, but volumes 10 and 11, impossible to find for like less than $80, $90, which was ridiculous <laughs> for one volume. So I obviously wasn't buying those used copies. I ended up finding volume 10 at Yumacon, which is a convention in Detroit uh, for, I think, I think that was $8. And let me tell you, when I saw this on my Instagram like page, I was like, there's no way, but it was. Um, they sold manga for, I believe it's like $5.99 a volume. Um, if it's an omnibus, it might vary. Also, they have do have some volumes for less than $5.99, but regardless, I'm so excited to finally have this because I've been looking for it for so long. And now I finally have the complete collection of Switch. Unfortunately, this does mean I have to reorganize my shelves because I literally, just reorganized my shelves like what like a month ago you saw my one of my previous videos and i put switch on a shelf where it fit exactly i didn't leave a space for it unfortunately i don't know why i didn't think of that because i don't know i just wasn't expecting to see this used and for a reasonable price so thank you the mages emporium for having this in stock and also from the mages emporium guy like me like I'm not paying for shipping, so of course I had to get free shipping, so I ordered a few more volumes. I also picked up volumes 6 and 7 of One Punch Man. So, like I was saying, I don't mind the fact that I have different logos. So, this is the one with the circle is the old Stone and Jump logo, and then the new logo is just the normal SJ that we see on new volumes now. I don't mind that. Um, I picked up volumes 6 and 7 because that's what they had in stock that I didn't already own. And these were also used, so these are also $5.99 each. So, not a bad find. Um, to get free shipping, I don't mind paying $5.99 for each volume. Because I was going to buy them eventually, so I might as well pick them up now just to reach free shipping threshold. And then my last buys from the Mages Emporium were volumes 2, 3, 4, and 6 of Alice 19th. So this is an older out of print shoujo series. Um, I read the first chapter for free on Viz because I was looking for stuff to get to reach the free shipping uh, threshold. And obviously I found this and they had four volumes, which was exactly the amount of money that I needed to reach uh, the free shipping threshold. So that was great. Um, but they didn't have the full series. If they had the full series, I probably would have just bought it all from the Majors Emporium, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I read it and I was like, this is really interesting. And I don't have that many like older shoujo series most of the shoujo series that i own are like fairly new-ish um besides like i would say the oldest one that i have right now is like nana which like isn't also isn't really that old because it's super popular right now but you know what i mean all right and then for my last buys of the month of april i have the remaining volumes of alice 19th so i went ahead and purchased these from various bookstores online that had the missing volumes that i was looking for so i have volumes one five and seven right here they were all about five or six dollars so about the same price as the major's emporium so not too bad of a find because i was obviously going to try to find them anyways to complete the series so there's seven volumes in total um, like I said, they're all about five or six dollars, but this one was six dollars and I had to pay shipping for it But it has a $2.99 Goodwill sticker on it. So I'm a little upset about that But I really can't complain because I still got it for technically under retail price But yeah, so that's all that I have for you guys for my April manga re recap uh, If you have any suggestions for manga that you think I should check out, let me know in the comments below And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!